Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I am excited to share a brand new release from Spellbinders. This is called the Hexy Gems Collection. We are going to take a look at it real quick, and then we're going to glimmer up the three new products and see how they look. So this here is a nesting set of dies, beautiful hexagons, and these have been really fun to play with. Um, we will be using these in future projects, um, quite a few future product projects actually, but these are nice, nice and nesting and they coordinate with all the products coming up here. Very, very useful. And there's 14 dies in that set. Then there's the Essential Glimmer Solid Hex Hexy Gem Solid Foiling Plate. This plate here we will foil today. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that heated. Um, this one here is a solid transfer foil or a solid foil plate. And when you foil on it, it will foil the whole entire surface. It also can be used for reverse foiling and also double foiling. So I do have a card coming up with a sample of double foiling on it, um, which you'll be able to see in a future project. So be watching out for that on my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to see all these projects that are gonna be coming up here soon. Um, so that is the Essential Glimmer Solid Hexy Gem Foil Plate. Then this one here is gorgeous. This is the Hexy Gem Blooms. And this is a stamp, or not stamp, a glimmer plate and die. Um, and the die makes this so universal to be able to, you can either glimmer it, or you can cut it out and put it anywhere. And when I double foiled, I actually foiled this and then I used that piece and I used this over top of it. So you got this floral design on top of it. So it was really cool. Then we have a really neat sentiment set, the Hexy Gem Sentiments. This is an all-in-one die set, which oh, this is going to be so much easier than the other foil dies because you die or you foil all of them in one pass and then you die cut them all in one pass. So this is a game changer. So we will foil that one up as well. And then this was a kind of a surprise. This is a stitched kaleidoscope hexi gem. This is a stitching die set. And I do have a separate sample video coming out with this set. And um, excuse my tape, but this is really cool. Actually, my tape is holding it together. But this is the stitching portion that I have inlaid there. And um, the stitching comes up this way here. And it has these big cross stitches right across here. And then it's a mirror image. So you do two of them. And you put them up and down. And then these... Whoops! You die cut separately, and they're like those overlay where, um, what are they called? Kaleidoscope, I think it is, where one is bigger than the other. So when you layer them together, you see the different colors. I'm sorry. You see the different colors in there. So these go behind it. And you see all three layers of cardstock in there. So I had fun in my sample and I used three colors of string of the floss. And I um, used three colors of cardstock. So be watching for that one. 
Okay, our glimmer machine is nice and warmed up. So let's see what color we are going to glimmer this first hexagon. I just thought we would play and just glimmer a few pieces of the collection so you can see what they look like. And then in the future videos, we will actually put some projects together. So this again is the Essential Glimmer Solid Hexi Gem. And we will do her in Sky Bright, one of my new foils. And I did an unboxing video um, Monday, this past Monday. So if you did not get a chance to see that, make sure you go back and check that out. Um, this was one of my new foils that I just ordered. So, we will get a cut a piece of this to coordinate with that approximately. And if I go off screen a little bit, I am sorry. My laptop app is not currently working, thanks to wonderful technology. So I am going to go ahead and cut off some of these corners as well, just to help prevent overfoiling a little bit. I've not used this foil before, so this will be new for all of us. I am brand new to foiling. If you, I do have one video where we opened the machine and um, played for the first time, so. If you are new to foiling, make sure you check that out. You always put the shiny side down to the foil plate. Then you put the cardstock. This cardstock is 80 pound hammer mill. I do not need shims for this paper. I'm gonna use the ones that came with the plate and we are gonna run this through. Now, running it, going slow, this is a solid foil plate, so it does take more time to transfer sometimes. So we will see how it does. I'll go ahead and run it back through. I didn't run my first one back through and it did just fine, so we'll see what happens on this one. Remember, this is all trial and error when you're learning. Okay, let that cool just a little bit. We'll go ahead and get this back in here to heat back up. We'll get our little tool. Come on. Let's see here, see how we did. There we go, perfect foiling. Looks good. So now, if you want to, and actually we could try it, but this one here, what I did on my double foiling one is I took this one now and I foiled it here. I foiled it like that. And then I die cut it out with the hexagons. And I got double foiling. So that's kind of cool. So let's, why don't we go ahead and why not? Right? Why not? Let's heat her up. And I will cut out a piece of cobalt blue. And for any of you that are interested in getting into foiling, or if you already have a glimmer machine, I don't know if you realize it, but... Spellbinders has a Glimmer of the Month um, club kit. And it comes with a free, a free roll of foil every month. 
and um, this cobalt actually was one of the foils that came in my monthly craft kit. Let's see, I'm trying to think here. I'm thinking and talking at the same time, but um, but it's it always when it it doesn't sell out, it always goes up in price when it comes to the store. And it goes to retail price, and it does not come with the free foil. So just a note of that, if anyone is interested in the foil of the month club kit, um, that is something that is available from Spellbinders now. Okay, we're going to move this here. Remember, the foil goes face down. Now, this is going to be a guesstimate because I can't see where this is going to go. So, I am just going to lay it down there and we will see what happens. I'm talking and not really, really 100% paying attention to my placement and everything, but it's the technique that I'm showing more than the way it's going to actually look. So, just so you guys can get an idea, I was not planning on doing this for you guys. So, woo! So, oh wow, it turned out gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I could not have asked for a better outcome. Let me get my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> This is a beginner, beginner aha moment here, people. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm in love. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is so gorgeous, people. And then you just die cut it out with that. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. Now that color combo again is cobalt and sky bright glimmer foils. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys, that oh, that just took my breath away. I had no idea of the placement or anything. I just laid that down. I guess I need to talk more often. But yeah, wow, okay. So now <laughs> I got to get my head back on straight. I'm sorry. Um, wow. Okay. So now this also could be double or, um, yeah, reverse foiled also. Um, so we could do that real quick. We could take this off. We, well, well, actually, let's see. Let me think here. We could use the hexagon. Mm. Yeah, let's use the hexagon. Let's use the hexagon. I haven't tried this yet. So, since we're on a roll here, let's use the hexagon. You can use a larger plate. This one is by Pink Fresh Studio. Um, Spellbinders solid plates are different shapes so that you can do cool things like this for centerpieces. Um, and they have different shapes. They have the square, the oval, the um, heart. Um, there's ones for a lot of their different frame sets, but they don't have a large one like this. So I got this from Pink Fresh Studios, but let's try this and do reverse foiling with this. So let's see, we would lay this down, pretty side down, then we would put our paper on top and we would get that and it's gonna end up looking like this. And then let me think, will the die, does the die give an outline? Then we would cut it out and you would see and you would have the blue flowers. That's what it would be. It would be white flowers with the blue detail. Okay, let's heat it up. And that's what it's going to look like. So,
So, or you could fussy cut around it. If my foil was bigger, you could then oval cut it or something and you would have more blue. So let's just heat this up and we will see. Can you tell I'm having fun learning? <laughs> so um, tell me if you glimmer or not, or if you have a hot foil machine, which one you have, if you have one, talk to me, tell me. Um, if you're experienced at this, tell me anything you wanna tell me. Hints, tips, tricks, um, how I'm doing, and if you're brand new, do you want to get into it? Is this something that looks fun to you? It's actually been really easy. I thought it was going to be complicated. I was kind of worried. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying it. And it's not difficult. I thought it was going to be tricky. And I mean, if you use the right paper. Okay, look, I'm going to put this. Remember, pretty side to the foil plate. Pretty side to the foil plate. Then paper. Plates. I hold onto it with my fingers just so it doesn't move. And roll it through. I'm kind of going kind of fast. I probably shouldn't be doing that, so I'm going to roll it back through. I'm talking again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if it did it. If not, we might have to heat it back up and do it again. Which with reverse foiling you can do, I have found. Look at there. Isn't that cool? So now look. Look at how much you can do with just these couple of dies or foil plates. Isn't that awesome? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let me now show you the sentiment set make this all come together. So we will get rid of this guy. We will heat up this guy. And do we want blue sentiments or should we switch? Let's do gold sentiments. Um, so yeah, so if you're into foiling, um, I'd love to hear your advice or your comments. If you are brand new to foiling, have you played with it a lot? I mean, have you, wait a minute, have you gotten it out of the box? I have some things, and I, this is confession time, I do have some products that I've never taken out of the box. I am guilty of that. I have bought products and not taken them out of the box. <sighs> yes, or I got it. I did used it one time. My Cricut. I have a Cricut Explore Air 2. I have used it in one class and never used it again. Yep. So, do you have a Spellbinders Glimmer Machine that you have in the box that you have never used? If you do, contact me. I want to know. I want to know. I'm going to support you. And we're going to do this together. You and me. So contact me. Message me, melaniestamps at yahoo.com if you're too embarrassed to put it in the comments below. Um, and we will walk hand in hand through this journey together. Because that's what makes crafting fun, guys. It makes it fun. The whole idea of crafting is to do it together. Make friends. And just have fun. Mm. Take a 
off a little bit. Shiny side to your plate. Paper down. Plates down. And run through. And I'm going to go slow this time. And then we will wrap it up. I hope this video has been beneficial and lets you have a really up close and personal look at this collection. This, this really has been a fun collection to work with. Um, when it was offered to me by Spellbinders, I had never used the Glimmer machine before. I had just recently gotten it at Hobby Lobby because it was marked down. And I was just starting to play with Spellbinders products on my own. And I thought, why not? I'll buy it. It's reduced. I'll get it. And then I came home and I bought my Platinum 6 from the Spellbinders website. Here we go. And then they offered me this beautiful collection to work with. Okay, we do have a little bit of overfoiling right there, which probably can be removed with a little bit of tape. So you can actually take a little bit of washi tape and touch the washi tape right there and that will come off. So let me just show you real quick if I can put my hands on the die sets. Yep. Just to remind you that this set did come with the die. So you will just line this up, die cut it out, and you will have all of those as ban banner dies or banner, banner sentiments. So easy peasy and you get all that for one run through your glimmer. So with that, I will let you guys go and watch out for all these videos coming up, guys, because I have lots to share with you and this is going to be a fun month. So I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.